You're not Beyonce, Bianca. You're trying to get somewhere. If I was you, and that was the assignment, I would do it. You frowned, and you got all kind of mad. Now, what was the big deal with not getting in the bathtub? Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where the girls become snooky from the Jersey Shore. And during judging, Tyra confronts a model who refused to do the challenge of getting into a bathtub and tells her, yeah, well, you're not Beyonce. So let's take a look, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Tonight's shoot is a night shoot. Now, I just couldn't have you guys standing around looking pretty on the boulevard at night. We had to do something <laughs> that was just a little more fun. That's, that's not really fun. Maybe Disneyland? Tyra came up with such a great idea to help you guys really step out of your comfort zone. Where is zone Tyra? And really give us some energy on set. You are gonna be riding all over Hollywood on the back of this bike. And really, I need you guys to give me that energy and really pull it out. You know, there are this whole new breed of young reality stars that are known for their over-the-top personalities. Like, like you. Like Snooki. Oh. Like Nene. So I really want you to kind Tyra, of take these characters mm -hmm. and kind of use their larger-than-life personas as inspiration while you're modeling. So what's the concept? You showed Snooki for a second. I'm like... What does she have to do with modeling in the fashion? And then you have a motorcycle? Snooky on a motorcycle? I don't get it. <laughs> reality show? But this is a reality show. Like, you're literally filming a reality show. Okay, so they're going to be in the back of a bike for this at night. So for, I would just tell them, um, can you just drop me off at home? Yeah, just keep going straight. It's going to be so... I live nearby, sir. It's not going to... I'll pay you for the gas. How much? How much? But I was just told that I looked like a reality TV star. So how the hell am I supposed to get my high fashion back by portraying a reality <laughs> TV star? <laughs> okay, I still don't know what's going on, but... Okay, but what we do know is they're going to be in the back of a motorcycle. It's going to be at night. And Snooky. Okay, that's... So far, that's, that's what we know. We're collecting information here. I don't understand, but okay. We have to embody two larger than life reality TV personalities, either Nene Leakes or Snooki from Jersey Shore. Everything that Snooki does is pretty strong. It's a lot of oh, strong brow. So, so they're making everyone into Snooki and Nene. Why? So there's going to be little Snookies running around here. They keep pushing it with these concepts because this is not high fashion. This can't go in the book. Why are we portraying a reality TV star for a photo shoot? What's the why? On the back of a motorcycle. There are many questions. It's better to just not ask questions. That's what I've learned. Just don't ask anything. <laughs> just watch it unfold and ask questions later. So love a strong brow, strong lash, strong eye. Snooki's more fun and party girl, so here's my chance. Oh my I'm god. Going, I'm gonna show personality. Is it you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't watch the Jersey Shore, it's not like my cup of tea. So the photo shoot was gonna be definitely interesting because I didn't know her mannerisms. Look who I got. It's a familiar face. This is Mike Rosenthal. He has shot. So many shoots. Actually, I think you're one of the photographers who shot probably the most shoots in the history of this competition. There's gonna be a lot of things going around, and you're gonna have to stay focused, but still really give us something cool and dynamic. Why are we doing this? The glamour has arrived. The oh, she has arrived. Has arrived. Oh. The whole point of this shoot is. Really uh, oh my god, this looks so bad. Is there nothing else they could have done for an All Star season? Other than this? It's terrible. It's so bad. You can't convince me that they didn't bring these all-star girls back just to humiliate them one last time. Look at the photo shoots they made them do on this season. They've been all ridiculous. They're like, yeah, um, it's, a, it's a, called the all-star season. Yeah, we didn't. We definitely want to um, make you guys uh, look like clowns the second time around. So please be part of this. And you're going to be snooky today from the Jersey Shore. 
The whole point of this shoot Look at the is wig. Really to take you guys out of your comfort zone. Yes, I'm ready. We're all gonna be like Snooky or Nene, and they are like these huge personalities. I do thrive on my personality to make up for the fact that I'm short. Why so are like, they posing on a bike? No problem. Oh, oh my God. That's actually a kind of a cool shot. <laughs> the hardest part of the shoot is the balance of being a model, but also trying to portray a certain <laughs> character who is not a model at all. Love the attitude now, Laura. This is good, Laura. And bam! It's it's a lot of effort for this. I, I was trying to give Snooki in the face with a little pouty lip, but I was trying to give model in the body. So I'm hoping that I'm safe, but you never really know. Okay, so they have this giant ass setup for for what for all it's a waste do something nice do something decent if you're gonna do all this they brought a freaking trailer with a giant ass light they got the lights they have the they use it for something that the girls could use in their book do a cool fashion editorial but no they dress them up like people from the jersey shore all these resources just go to waste all of this for the, just t throw it away. Don't even do it. Kayla would get very distracted by people screaming and hollering as we're doing the shooting. <laughs> Kayla wasn't really sure of herself. I just felt like she wasted a lot of the time. You wasted playful, your own time, sir. You were much more playful in the beginning. Ooh, we got the police. <laughs> the police. <laughs> Okay, Nini Angeli. <laughs> Nini Angeli. Way to tone down. So let's pick this up. Yeah, give me more energy. That's oh, tough. she just called me Tyra. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so <laughs> she just called her. <laughs> oh my God, Tyra's not gonna be happy. Oh, Angeli's going home tonight. Angeli's going home. That was so funny. I love whoever did that. I just love that. <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Funniest moment from the show. I love how Angeli handled it. <laughs> what did he call her? Nini Angeli. <laughs> Dude, Mr. J is funny though. I'm not going to lie. He says some funny stuff sometimes. Very rarely. But he, he gets a chuckle out of me every now and then. <laughs> okay, so Lisa, guess who your inspiration is going to be? Who? Nini. I've actually never watched that show, so I have no idea who Nini is. Yeah. But Bianca helped me with characteristics of Nini. What if you don't she know who they are? She would never be on the back of a motorcycle. She would her hair would never be on the back of a motorcycle. And if she would be, she'd be like, child. <laughs> I love Bianca. I think it's really weird that a lot of these girls want to be in this business, but they don't watch television. I kind of take it upon myself to let them know about their characters, and I help them out. And she's like, if you try me, I will kill you. But then I remembered, okay, it's for competition. Let me shut up and do it. I'm not telling you anything else about Nini. I forgot this was a competition, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. I love Bianca. Damn. That's what I was thinking. What if you don't know who any of those people are, like Snooki or Nini? I don't know who Nini is. I, I've, I don't know what show she's on. It's kind of like a requirement to know who these people are. If you see my door open and close, it's just because my cat keeps coming in and out. So I'm just gonna keep the door open for her. I'm not telling you anything else about Nini. I forgot this was a competition, Lisa. Damn. Damn, I gave her too much already. <laughs> Woo, Miss Lisa. <laughs> it's Nini, and uh, black girls don't go on motorcycles because my hair, honey. So you got about 10 minutes. Let's do this. Oh my God. You're the first what? one to do that. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> I love Lisa. You know, Lisa's performance today was amazing. Me away. Mm -hmm. She was amazing on the back of a bike, moving on a wow. trailer. I mean, it was so great. Wow. Oh, oh she's oh. really getting playful. Was this is good for you as it was for me. Lisa. Yeah, is a picture of Oh my Snooki. god. Lisa No one can beat what Lisa just did. The fact that Mr. J is smiling and admitting that she did a good job. This man has been holding that in since day one. He's been he's been meaning to say that. He's like, okay, I'm just now is the time. Now is the time. Like the second to last episode. Okay, Lisa, you did decent. Good job. I'm gonna crack a smile now. 
my God, Mr. J, just ha you could have had this attitude since the beginning because we all saw Lisa modeling amazing. Look at the smile on Mr. J's face. Look at that. Pure joy watching Lisa pose on the back of this motorcycle. He's having a good time. He even admits that she's she, she blew him away. I can't believe he dared utter those words about Lisa. It's a historic moment on the show. You're never going to see this again. Record it. You know, do a voice note to your friends because it's mom this moment. It's once in a lifetime. Mr. J admits something uh, nice. Here is a picture of Snooky wearing your dress. Oh. You've been Snookified. The dress is cute. Allison looks good yeah. no matter what. Yeah, these are great. That's She's beautiful. Really cute. Love that. These look really good, Mike. Good. Allison is amazing. Well, oh she's going for the gusto. <laughs> good, good. Wow. Dominique took a lot of risks. Some I of love them worked, that. Some of them yes, didn't, Dominique. But I have to give her points for actually taking those risks. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no, you did not take his bandana off. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm throw you out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pickles. <laughs> requested. Thanks, Lise. Anybody who knows Snooki knows that she loves pickles. So I thought it would have been such I a love cute idea too. to use it during the photo shoot. I never thought that one jar of pickle would cause so much drama. Would you like one to eat? I was going to eat one on there. You should have requested them. I'm sorry, she didn't. I had it's her jar of pickles. one interview, and that's like her favorite food is pickles. And I asked for one, but she said no. So I was like, okay, I don't need a pickle anyway. Sorry, Alley Cat. I have to be a bitch to you, too. Bianca. <laughs> what the I'm mostly hungry. Oh. I thought of the pickles, and once the pickles came, then the girls wanted it. And I was like, no, I'm sorry, but I just want this for my shoot. And it's oh. a little selfish, but it's also a competition. It's not bitchy. It's competitive. We're going. Bianca specially requested the pickles. So then did, she, did they know that they were doing this photo shoot with Snooki before? That's what I would want to know. I mean, I understand she requested it. I don't see anything wrong in, like, sharing with the rest of the girls. They don't have to necessarily use it in their photo shoot, but if they just want to eat one, because I love pickles. So, I mean, I can understand Bianca, but like sharing isn't going to kill you either. Like you can share with the girls. It's a whole jar of pickles. There's enough to go around. She only needs one pickle at the end of the day. So, I would just be uh, giving those out. Like here, would you would you care for a pickle, milady? Here you go. Would you care for a pickle? They're fresh, fresh from the jar. So personally, me, I would be sharing with everybody, but I. It's hard to say in these situations, okay? It's hard to say. And we don't know what goes on. Like, they edit the show a certain way. And then you hear things from behind the scenes or from the models themselves that it was totally different. So, I don't know about the pickles. I'm mostly hungry. I thought of the pickles and once the... Allison saying, I'm mostly hungry, is very concerning to me. Because that leads me to believe that they're not feeding the models, allegedly. Are, are you not providing food for your models? Are you making the models hungry? Why are you not feeding the models? Why are they not eating? Why are they hungry on your photo shoot? Those are the questions I have. We're going to the Jersey Shore, bitch! <laughs> what in the hell is with these pickles? I am gonna do a pickle, just for a few. If you don't like it, we'll throw it. Okay, that pickles get real raunchy. Can I please not have it look like a <laughs> Bianca's choice of the pickle was not a good one. It was very phallic. I think this is getting a little too porno. Oh, the, the photographer pickle? said that. Okay. Oh, he took it. But I want to see a little snooky influence in there, not too modely. Uh-oh. Oh, look, you got a fan running for you. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be in the picture. Oh, no, that's not a good look. No, no, no. No, you guys, this wig, this wig, this should be a crime somewhere. I don't know what country, but throw the book. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Alexandria just kept doing the finger. Uh-uh, uh-uh. But who are you waving at? Like, you're riding on a bike. So it just felt amateurish. Mm -hmm. I want to feel the party happen on the back of this bike. Oh, it's happening, babe. All right. Okay. I'm not feeling snooky yet. 
Of course, I don't embody Snooki. If you've ever watched the Jersey Shore, it's totally not me. Yeah. I'm like the opposite. But maybe I'll just be like a tamed down Snooki. Come on, pick up that energy, Shannon. Just like crazy. Have fun with it. Let's see what happens. Have fun. Know just what happens. Drive into traffic. I guess. Loves to go where she feels comfortable. And today was no different. She got on the back of that bike and bam, we've got Shannon's number one pose. She should do things that she's comfortable with. There's nothing wrong with that. Making Shannon do something like this is so out of her character. It, I don't know. It just you're not gonna get good pictures if the model is not into the concept. She does. I think Shannon said she doesn't even watch the Jersey Shore. The styling. I mean, the style is pretty accurate. I'm sure Snooki would wear something like this, right? Back in back in the the Jersey Shore days, man, that show was crazy. That's your wild side. Come on, Shannon. Let's wrap everybody. Woo! That wasn't good enough for him. He's like, that's your wild party. You're not going to, you know, fall off the bike and into traffic that you're not going to you're not willing to do that, Shannon. Do you not want to be on the show? What, what do you want, Mr. J? What do you want from her? She's never watched the Jersey Shore. She doesn't even know who Snooki is. She doesn't know how Snooki is. So I'm just asking, like, what are you expecting from someone who hasn't watched the show for a character that they're being they're asked to portray? You're going to get nothing, Mr. J. It's a waste. She doesn't know who wrote the note. She has no idea, okay? And that's okay. I don't even know what to say about this photo shoot other than just so, so random. <laughs> so random. You're going to do this for the All-Stars, a photo shoot like this? You're bringing back the most popular contestants from your show, and this is the concept you're going to give us? Where they're portraying a reality show person character? Come on. It's lazy. It's lazy. Let's do something high fashion. Let's So that these... All stars can show us what they really got. I want to see a high fashion look. Something cool, edgy, something different. In studio stuff mixed with like cool editorial on location. I don't know, something cool. I'm, I'm just waiting for that. But no, we have these lazy, like half ass, like on, a, on the back of a motorcycle in downtown LA just riding around. It's boring. We need high fashion but we're getting dollar store. That's what, that's what this is to me. You have Allison Harvard. You have Lisa. You have Bianca. And you're going to make them do... And this is what we get. What a waste. What a waste. I've been waiting for this moment where we go to the judging and see if they confront Bianca for not um, going in the bathtub during the challenge. So let's see. Kathy Griffin. Kathy, like the subjects of our photo shoot this week, has a built-in brand for herself with a huge personality. And she has broken all kind of history by being the only comedian to ever have four specials in one year. I've Never done that. Before. That's a lot of making fun of you, Tyra. That's a lot of material. Same, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, something good today, honey. <laughs> so this week was an homage to reality television stars. And half of our girls were Nini from Housewives of Atlanta. And the other half was Snooki from Jersey Shore. And here is your shot as Nene. What? Wow. Okay, the photographer did not come to play with this one. This is a good picture. It's so cool that I don't even mind the styling. I mean, he he kind of saved this this whole concept with the just the photo itself. The photographer is going to swoop in and save all of this. He's like he's like Superman. Or Batman, because Batman does that. But he doesn't fly. He's a superhero of, of some kind. So. I do like it because I get the moment, I get the feel, I got the attitude, I got the vibe. I actually love this picture. I think you Me have too. sass. It looks like you have a little hoochified thing going on. I think you're selling it. Our next Nini is... Our Angelique. next Nini is... <laughs> kind of cool. Wow, like you guys, these pictures are so good. I love this. Photographer... A plus, Mike Rosenthal, amazing. So they they picked the right photographer for this. Thank God, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, they got Mike for this. That's all I gotta say, because this could have been terrible. He was able to take this concept and make and turn it into this. Smalla, smalla, say smalla, everybody. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to the model. Just the picture is great. How it was shot, the lighting. I love the motion blur. It's great. It's great. 
kind of cool. I kind of like this picture. For me, there's a narrative. I don't want you just to be Nini. I want you to be Anjali. And then have an essence of Nini. And I the essence of Nini. I'm loving the Nini's cheekbones. These are These your are cheekbones, are, cheekbones. Right? They're yeah. like they should have had the Nini as the ju guest Looking judge. Into the distance and smizing into or the Snooki. Thank, Thank you. you. Up next, Dominique. Hey. Cool for taking a risk. Wow. I definitely go to you. That's a star quality. Do you already bring the fierceness? Wow. But it would be fun to see like a beautiful mop. I'm just. What can I say? The photography saved it all. The, the good lighting, the the angle. I mean, it was it's done well. It's done well. The the photography is done well. This just goes to show you that a good photographer can transform anything. It can, they can really save the photo shoot. And this is a great example of that. But it would be fun to see like a beautiful model just wasted. And I think if you can act like that. You can give that pose. I'm blacked out now. I'm not going to remember any of this tomorrow. <laughs> Alexandria. Ooh, I dream of genie. <laughs> mm, I love how he effectively covered his face. He's like doing one of these. He's like, yeah, are you guys done? Think about this concept, but if the girls were actually dressed nicely, like fashion editorial, they could have easily done it and had this photographer, and it would have been amazing. But no, they want to do this reality show. This, like, this, it's sort of like a yeah it is kind of gimmicky it's like it's like a cheap idea to be honest like why not do something high-end fashion here right. just that alone it looks like she's gonna start a girl fight that alone <laughs> yeah it's, it's fun genius. seeing this this blonde white girl bring that kind of an attitude yeah. right? you know i'm glad you got your feisty nature back it's like tyra say. don't send me home almost too don't you dare sometimes. I like that she went all the way for this. To me, this shoot is more caricature than high fashion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank I agree. You. Thank you very much. Up next, Lisa. She won the challenge. Wow. Congratulations. She did a great job. Are we ready to yes. see Lisa as Nene? Yeah. This is what. Wow. It's the photography, but Lisa did an incredible job. Lisa looks good here. These pictures could have looked like stock images, to be honest with you. But again, the photographer shot it so well. The tones work well with this photo, too. I love that it's more of like warm, uh, muted tones. I think the execution was done flawlessly. This works for me. This shows your bone structure like I haven't seen it in ages. When we were deciding on who the all-star should be, I went through everybody's old portfolios and I forgot how amazing you photograph. And I do, you're right. Yeah. I'm seeing what I saw in cycle five right here, that strength. Now, because you won the perfume challenge, you are immune from going home this week. Good I'll luck, hussies. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Love, Lisa. Up next is Kayla. Here's your best shot. I don't <gasps> see some Wow. I'm I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how well. I'm like I was not expecting this from this photo shoot. This is the best picture hands down. Kayla number 1. I don't see Snooky. I'd almost love to see a little bit of Snooky's hot mess. I had like this jacket on, so I'm like, let me try and poke it out. Let me try and do the booty tooch. I wish you had more eye contact though. I, I'm not sure where you're looking. She's it kind looking of is just at totally dazed. Your fashion is fantastic. But your Snooky is uh, not so sweet. No, she had the Thank best picture, much, Tyra. Come on. That the was the best Snooki one. Next Snooky in the house is Allison. The next Snooky in the house. She looks like one of the Brady Bunch kids. How's she going to be Snooky? Oh my God. Incredible. The lighting is so good. I need to see how he shot this. Even though I just watched it, I'm like, I need to go back and actually look at it. The, the lighting. The lighting is so good. Allison looks incredible in this. I don't care if she looks like Snooky or not. She's looking good. That is Snooky on a very good day. <laughs> I think all the awkwardness day. and all the weirdness is Snooky. I feel that energy with a model thing wrapped in it. So okay, good. Thank you. Oh my God, incredible. Up next is Bianca. There's some sort of wow. fun about the yeah, Bianca looks really good here. I don't even care that they don't look like the reality star. Who cares? Look at they I feel like some of the girls made it more fashion by their posing instead of making it more like the reality star thing, which I prefer. 
there's something sort of fun about the part where she looks kind of passed out on a guy, <laughs> which is always a good night. I don't feel snooky, but it's a glamorous photo. I don't get messier. I think you should have played up with it and given me an attractive snooky. You uh, want her to be ugly? Challenge. <laughs> I an attractive snooky. And of course, you weren't in the bathtub. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's happening. It's happening. Okay. This is it. This is it, guys. Let's see what happens. So in my last video, Bianca refused to do the challenge where they were in the bathtub. So this is the photo shoot and elimination from the same episode. If you want to watch the first video, I'll have a link in the description. Otherwise, this is part two of that video with the photo shoot and elimination. Uh, at the actual challenge, I walked up to you in the bathtub. And of course, you weren't in the bathtub. You frowned and you got all kind of mad. Now, what was the big deal with not getting in the bathtub? Didn't seem authentic to me. I'm tired of being just the reality star. I want to be taken serious as a model. You came back here, but you were just a model. I love being on the television show. I love doing things with top models. That's why I'm here, to take my dream to another level. But I've never seen Beyonce in a bathtub, Rihanna in a bathtub selling their perfume. You're not Beyonce, Bianca. You're trying to get somewhere. If I was you, and that was the assignment, I would do it. And I would do it and try to win. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Up next is Sham. Wow. Okay. The fact that she's like, you're not Beyonce, Bianca. We know that she's not Beyonce, but what she's speaking to is how Beyonce holds herself and values herself. We, Tyra is, is intentionally missing the point here, okay? Because I agree with Bianca. Having them do these silly things is not helping her to be taken seriously as a model. I agree with her. And Tyra saying that if she was told to do this, if that was the assignment, she would have done it. I don't believe that for a second. Remember, Tyra is always quick to give examples of things that she's done and the struggles she's faced as a model. Remember how she brought up, oh, I went to 25 castings in one day, blah, blah, blah. But notice here, she didn't give any examples of when she had she didn't want to do an assignment um, and she still did it to, to kind of prove to Bianca, like, oh, I would have really done it. Then, okay, give us an example of when you did something that you didn't want to do or you weren't comfortable with doing. Tell us, Tyra, because you always gave us examples before, but now suddenly you have none to give us. You just, it's a, just, a, just take my word for it. I would have done it for sure. Like, we're supposed to believe you now that you're the host of America's Next Up. Now that you're a supermodel, you're a millionaire, you have all these things, and now I'm supposed to just take your word for it? Tyra, I don't believe that you would do that. Sorry, I, I really don't. I don't believe at any point in your career you would be doing something like that. Or your agent would tell you to do something like that. I walked up to you in the bathtub. I walked up to you in the you bathtub. In the bathtub. You frowned and you got you all frowned, kind of... You frowned and you got all kinds of mad and then it shows her like smiling. They don't even have the B-roll to show that she was actually mad because she wasn't. Maybe at best she was annoyed that you kept asking and pushing her to do this when she's already said no. At best she was annoyed. You can't say this is being mad and angry, Nigel. You can't. It's just, just stop. He's really trying to push this narrative that she was so upset and angry and she was frowning because you annoyed her, okay? You were splashing the, her bathtub water. <laughs> let it go, Nigel. Let it go. No one's going to believe this. Where's the B-roll of her being mad? Show us. What This is it? This, this is her being mad? She's just trying to do the challenge that you made her do. She has no choice in this. You're not Beyonce, Bianca. You're trying to get somewhere. You're but trying to get somewhere, so what? So you just got to do whatever everyone wants you to do. Is that what we're pushing on the show? Is that what we're teaching people? You're trying to get somewhere, so you have to be willing to do anything. Absolutely anything. You can't have any boundaries. You can't have any limitations. Just do what we want you to do. Don't question us. Don't say no. Because then you're going to lose this opportunity. There's always like an illusion of loss. Like you're going to lose um, your dreams your dreams will never come true if you don't do what we want you to do and that's what so it's, it's like a fear that drives people to do certain things that normally they would never do or they're not comfortable doing it's always the fear of losing out but I promise you guys that having boundaries is so important and saying no to things that make you feel uncomfortable is important you should be doing that when Beyonce was brought up Tyra was like you're not Beyonce <laughs> Like it just, she's just saying the way that Beyonce carries herself. And maybe that's someone she looks up to. 
okay? You can't tell Bianca you should be doing this if she's not comfortable with it. P that's it. If I was you and that was If I was you, I would do, I would it. do it. Okay, so and get I in the bathtub. You know what, Tyra? Talk is cheap these days. Yo, go, go get in the bathtub. Show us what you would do. If, if you know what, set an example. Set an example. Leave a comment down below. Do you really think Tyra would do something like this? Or do you think she's just saying that? Okay, thank you. After thank all you. that, she's like, okay, thank you. Up next is Shannon. She's right, not happy. Here is your snooky. It's a given that you've got the bone structure. It's your personality it's a good that's picture. really got to have the star quality. Cycle one, I felt that there was a fire. Do you remember your picture with the snake? No. Mm -hmm. And you have the gold on, and you're like searing. That's one of my favorite pictures of all the cycles of America's Next Top Model. It was you were Is sizzling it? through mm -hmm. that camera, and you need to bring that back. Thank okay, you. Okay, where's Thank the snake? We, we might need that. It's getting very interesting. <laughs> We've added a perfume prize, which ups the stakes even higher. So, I just want the cash to be honest with you. That would have been better. <laughs> Perfume. Okay, let's see. Let's check out the judges' deliberation and then see who goes home. It's are they sending Bianca home? Because that's that's what I feel like this is leading up to. We have to deliberate. Okay, First I'm up. gonna deliberate with you guys. Laura. This picture for me is kinda amateur. I, I look at it and I you know, I, I don't feel anything. I don't feel You don't feel anything. anything. Oh, I Maybe like you it. don't have feelings. I think Laura I, this is charming and I like her and I like the photograph because I did get a scintilla, a nuance of Nene. Angelique. <laughs> Angelique has evolved so much. I got like a Pokemon. With you, Andre. Yeah. I think she's really sort of taken on notes that we've given her and improved. And that's what it's about. When have you Absolutely. given her notes? If they're not taking notes and they're not getting better. Yeah, I take it I take Alexandria. Notes. Yeah. yeah, yeah Alexandria time. takes everything too far. I just don't really believe it. Like you don't believe finger. that she's. I'm a fan of Alexandria's. Nini. I think she, again, it's about improvement, it's about listening and learning, and I really think she's improved. She's supposed to be tough, and I don't feel like she's adhering she's, to that. Yeah. Lisa! Yeah. Look, I like Lisa. She's got tons of personality. I don't think she really channeled Nini, but she, it's still a great photo. You know, I mean, she's unpredictable. I like that. You know, Lisa, okay. week after week after week for me has gone downhill. But this week, it all changed for me. It changed. So okay, the motorcycle. Is one of the best of the bunch. I think Lisa looks sexy in this photo. Oh, she looks sexy She's for sure. She's doing a little booty too. Chando, Nini got yes. booty. Yes. <laughs> and I'm feeling Lisa. Kaylor. Okay. I kind of forget her because she's not really selling herself. She's got to sell herself at all points. But what I are you selling her in the last picture? Cycle. Whenever she opened her mouth, it was like this sweet little thing, and it there was something that made you want to hug her. <laughs> Yay. Is that now, supposed to be bad? Like a strong something I can hold on to. You're, you're supposed to be snooty. If you want to hug her, Tyra, you just don't hug her. be Paris just out of prison with a little hair and makeup. I, I think that Kayla is not not giving us something wow factor. That pop doesn't come. Dominique. I do like Dominique, and I do think that she still has something. She Maybe still has something. Perhaps it's underneath all that makeup. Ooh, y'all. Excuse me? You mean the makeup that you guys put on her for the photo shoot? What? What are you talking about, Nigel? Oh my God! Underneath all that makeup, does that just that comment right there? No, that's a big no, Nigel. Maybe if you had some of that makeup, Nigel, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Covered it. Thank you. Perhaps it's underneath all that makeup. Ooh, y'all! She takes it on. Come on. Yeah. I wear buckets. That just got work. Like drag queens come up to me and say, "Tone it down." She cakes it on. Nigel, have you even been within like two feet of her this entire season? That is so mean. Nigel is ruthless. We all thought it was just Tyra and Mr. J. No, the three musketeers are at it again. She cakes it on. He's the expert here of makeup. He's like, "Yeah, it's just too much." She'll probably just have like eyeshadow on and some lip gloss. He's like, "That she just." God, it's like two pounds of makeup. Oh my God. But she's here for the photo shoots and they're putting the makeup for the photo shoot on her. But she has nothing to do with the... Ma leave her alone. Leave her alone, Nigel. Leave her alone, Nigel, please. I'm not seeing moving on and giving me something that makes me excited about who she is. Bianca. She has a wow factor in her physicality. But to be a star, no. Because to be a top model, you've got to have a personality that people want to book. Bianca is gorgeous and tall and looks like a model, but if she can't take direction, what good is it? It's it's okay to know your place. You know, I called my show My Life on the D-List because I know my place, and she was sort of fighting where she is. Dolly, I'm gonna tell you, 
you, Linda Evangelista Kate Moss. If it's a tub and some petals, I don't think get you're gonna- your ass up Get your ass, ass up in the tub! Shannon! Okay, but it's completely different because I'm sure if Tyra was pitched this, and the other supermodels they mentioned were pitched to do an idea like this, it would still be something worth it, like high fashion, editorial. It wouldn't be like, oh, come sell this perfume at a at this random venue at night with some fairy lights and some some of your fans. I don't think Tyra would do. I don't think she would do that. Truthfully, what makes you special? It's your personality. It's that little something. It's the, from the uh to the uh. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. A little I think yeah. Shannon's bone structure is strong. Well said, I Tyra. Like, yeah. um, I don't think this is really a snooky yeah, but I still think that she does take strong pictures, and she I does. do like somebody that does have a strong conviction. Okay. You like Shannon having a strong conviction, but what about Bianca having a strong conviction? But, that, but that's a problem when Bianca has a strong conviction. What? Tyra, make up your mind. What is okay for one girl? You have to be okay with it for the other, for the next girl. Before we see who gets eliminated for no reason, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. They have so many amazing features. And the best part is, is that it's easy to use. I currently have my photography website using Squarespace. And what I love the most about it is if I ever wanna change up the look of my website, I can do that with a click of a button using one of the many designer templates that they offer. You can see how your website looks before it even goes live. You can test out different templates, see how your website looks. That's one feature that I love. Another feature is the gallery options that they offer. For a photographer, it's very important how my images look on my website. I can have them stacked. I can have them as a carousel. I can show before and afters of whatever I want. I can even adjust the space between each picture with just a simple slider. You can even make a store on Squarespace. You can sell your digital goods. You can sell merch. Whatever you're thinking, you can do so using Squarespace. And another feature that I love is the calendar availability. You can show this to your clients. It shows a calendar of what days you have available and they can book you through that, which I think is super, super helpful, especially as a photographer. But you don't have to be a photographer to be using Squarespace. If you're an artist or anyone who has a vision for something, you can use Squarespace for that. If you have a vision for something, make it happen with Squarespace. You can start a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. With that being said, does Bianca get eliminated? I need to know. Well, Shannon, Kayla, and Bianca, please step up. Oh, all three of them? Three beautiful ladies stand before me, but I only have one photo in my hands. And this photo Two represents of them the girl that is still running home. towards becoming America's next top model, All Star. I will only call one name oh my God. out of the three of you. The two that I do not call must immediately return to your house here in Los Angeles, pack your bags, and go home. Oh my God. Two Shannon. of them? stunning girl and an amazing strong personality that has morals that she sticks to but what the judges see is wait 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 that's... wait wait that she has morals that she sticks to but again bianca but bianca doesn't it's not okay for bianca to have morals that she sticks to it's almost like a parody like she's making fun in just plain sight after what just happened to say to specifically say that i you know i admire that you have morals and things that you're not willing to do but then to you were just hating on bianca and said that you know like oh you're not you know you should know the assignment but what the judges see is somebody that's too safe to really stand out and then we have kayla a girl who i remember who had these strong pictures you stood out because you were so free yet vulnerable right now the judges feel that that's just watered down that miss kayla is now melting away who wrote this speech melting away have bianca so strong one of the most model-esque looking girls here a girl that came to top model and was rough around the edges and years have gone by and you have become a professional working model but the judges fear that you are not coachable so who stays she's not coachable by you guys shannon <gasps> Ooh, they got oh my god 
So they eliminated her. The fire. It's in the room. Look at that. Look at the strength. Look at there's something coming from within. No, there's a story that we feel. Think of the brand all the way through. But don't be boring. And Think don't of be the safe. brand all the way through. Don't what about Bianca's brand? Because it was such a strong place. You were a runner no. up cycle one. It, look, Shannon's a great model too, but just the, the things that are she's saying, I don't agree with at all. She's praising Shannon for the very same things that she's going to eliminate Bianca for. Like, so I'm saying I, I love the fact that Shannon sticks to her morals and her beliefs. That's great. Nothing wrong with that. But then you can't fault someone else for doing the same, but in some other way. You have to be fair. And that's, this is not fair. And it was for a reason. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's Next Top Model All-Star. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So where, where, where's that girl? What's happening? I don't Oh, I think I'm here. I think it's Where's just, that girl? Maybe I didn't bring it enough in panel. You did, panel, Kayla. It's just not... Is, shows that it's so important for you always. This is not the right in show. That beautiful, sweet girl that people just want to cheer. Because that's what made us bring you back here. Okay. They're too good for the show. You, my dear. You are a strong girl. And a strong girl with a story. There's a million girls looking at you going, she's me. And if she can come from where I come from and have this look and, and, and become this superstar and become Cinderella, that's something that is rootable, okay? You have to look at yourself as a leader. It's about just being humble to remember where you came from. Super, super, super important. And you will be lovable because I know that's in your heart, okay? That was kind of nice, but still like... I know just... this isn't the end and I'm okay with the results. Do I wish I would have won? Yeah, I think everybody wants to win here. But I have learned a lot, and mm -hmm. I think when this is all said and done, I'm very proud of myself. I'm, I'm happy with what I did, and I want to take back anything. She's lovely. Oh, I love that they're living together. This was amazing. I'm going to continue being myself, but that includes being candid, includes being sassy, yes. includes being fashionable. That's going to be me. It sucks to lose, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So many comments. I don't even know where to start. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think... Do you think Bianca should have went home? Do you think it was the right choice? Leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video.